back to Carson Tate's video log, Women in Words installment. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Today I'd like to talk about credits. Not the kind of thing you get when you uh, return something to the store, and certainly not credit cards, but I would like to talk about the kind of credit you get when you acknowledge someone. And I'm the kind of person who sits through the end of the movie when everyone else has long left the theater just to see all the credits roll. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking I'll see a name I know and I can jump up and say, I know so-and-so, he was the best boy grip or something like that. Uh, but I think the real reason for that is I like to know a little bit about the backstory of uh, either movies, music, novels. Um, I always read the acknowledgments in the front uh, and any postscripts and books that I read because I like to see um, who the author thought was important to thank, if they give me any insight into their storytelling process, uh, maybe some of the research they did. I really enjoy um, learning more about the author and the story that way. I am in the process now of um, penning the acknowledgments to uh, my fourth novel, It Should Be a Crime. The rest of the novel is out of my hands. The story's done, the editing is done, and now all I have to do is write the acknowledgments. And I want to know, do you read those things? Do you find them interesting at all? Um, authors, how do you keep track of who to thank? Um, discuss among yourselves. Acknowledgments, credits, dedication. Like them? Don't. Do them? Think they're important? Read them? Happy Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in. Carson Tate's video log, Women in Words installment.